Hello students, I was planning your lesson only. Before I start with anything, I would like to ask you a question. What productive you did today? I know many of you must have and many of you must have not. Let me tell you students, sitting idle is not at all a good idea. If you keep on procrastinating your task, you will increase your own burden and a day will come when you have to face consequences for what you have done. When I was preparing your lesson today, I find that the lesson also conveys the same. Before I start explaining the lesson, let me introduce myself. I am Meeta Mandal from Holy Hearts Educational Academy. Today, I have brought you a lesson from the book it so happened of class 8 and I am going to explain the very first lesson how the camel got its hum. The lesson how the camel got its hum is written by Rudyard Kipling. You remember Rudyard Kipling, the writer of Jungle Book? Yes. And the story is a humorous fable. Humorous means the story that makes you laugh. And fable means the story where the main characters are the animals. In this story, the main characters are, of course, camel, dog, horse and an ox. The story is telling us about the time when the world had just formed and the animals started working for humans, started working for man actually. All the animals were helping humans in their work. But there was an animal, camel, who was not at all interested in doing any kind of work. He simply laced around or sat idle. He was not interested in doing any work. All the animals started helping man since Monday. But this camel had not yet started his work. It was three days now. He had not done a bit. Now what happened? A horse with a saddle on his back came to the camel and said, Camel, oh camel, come and walk like us. But the camel was so lazy that he replied, Hump, H-U-M-P-H, hump. And not even a single more word, only hum. The horse went. Then a dog came with a stick in his mouth. He also asked the camel the same thing. That camel, why don't you come and work like me? See how I'm working, how I'm helping. But again, camel replied the same thing. Hum. And nothing else. The dog went. Then an ox arrived. And he also asked the camel the same thing. That camel, come. Come out of the desert. And work on the farms as I am doing. But again camel, he simply ignored. And said, hum. Now, after day's work, all the three animals, horse, dog and ox. They went to the men complaining about the camel. But what the men said? Hum, saying hum won't work. If the camel had not joined you yet, then three of you have to finish the unfinished task left by camel. That means all the three of them had to compensate for the work what the camel did not do. Now the three animals got very angry and they called a panchayat which was headed by guess who? A jinn. Jinn you remember? The imaginary character from uh, Aladdin's story? Yes, that jinn. They complained jinn. They told jinn everything whatever happened. Now, 
what the jinn said jinn uh, he uh, started looking for the camel in the desert where the camel was when the jinn was uh, looking for the camel all over the desert what he found that the camel was standing near a pool of water and he was looking at his own reflection in the water and he was admiring his body especially his back he was very proud of his back how beautiful back he got jin went to the camel and asked about the complaint he has got against him but the camel was simply mannerless he was least bothered he replied again hum again the jin tried to convince the camel but the camel again repeated hum as soon as the camel said hum the jin did some magic as as soon as camel said hum what happened his back started puffing puffing and puffing and there was a big hump on its back the camel was surprised that what the jin did to his back on which he was so proud of but the jin explained him that he got a punishment the hump was a reminder of the days when he refused to work and also instructed him that he had to work 3 days extra to complete the pending task but the camel uh, said that uh, how could he work with such a big hump on his back jin also told him that the hump has its own use he can store food and water in that hump when he would work tirelessly in the desert that food and water would help him to work continuously and he can use it when necessary so students you must have understood what i want to say and it is said that even today the camel could not finish the pending task what he had left when the world had formed so he is still carrying the big hump on his back and he had got the punishment for what he did so sitting idle it's not at all good one has to pay for it so students do you like the story so in your words write down what you learned from the story and why it is important to do something productive every day so it is suggested to all to be active and do something productive Thank you. I'll catch you soon with a new lesson. Till then, stay safe at home. Bye bye.